British Challenger II. The third generation British main battle tank, or MBT, in service with the militaries of the UK and Oman is the FV4034 Challenger II, MOD designator CR2. Vickers Defence Systems, a British corporation, created and constructed it, now known as BAE Systems Land and Armaments. In 1986, Vickers Defence Systems launched a private project to create a Challenger 1 replacement. In December 1988, the Ministry of Defence placed an order for a prototype. The MOD placed orders for 140 vehicles in June 1991 and for 268 more in 1994. The Challenger 1 was replaced when the unit's tanks were delivered in July 1994 after production had started in 1993. The tank was first used by the British Army in 1998 after a production delay and the last one was delivered in 2002. Oman received a Challenger 2 export as well. The Challenger 2 is the result of a significant redesign of the Challenger 1. Despite the fact that the hull and automotive parts appear to be comparable, they are of a newer design than those on the Challenger 1 and only around 3% of them are interchangeable. The Challenger 1 and Challenger 2 both have an armored housing for the TOGS thermal gun sight, but the Challenger 1's is located on the right side of the turret. The tank's maximum road speed is 59 km per hour and its range is 550 km. The L11 cannon used on the Chieftain and Challenger 1 has been replaced with the 120mm 55 caliber long L30A1 tank gun on the Challenger 2. Because the British Army continues to prioritize the usage of high explosive squash head or HESH rounds, in addition to armor piercing, fin stabilized, discarding sabot rounds, the L30A1 is rifled, which is unique among NATO main battle tank guns. A 7.62mm L37A2 machine gun and a 7.62mm L94A1 X34 chain cannon are also equipped with the Challenger 2. There are 4,200 rounds of 7.62mm ammo and 50 rounds of main armament. Four people make up the Challenger 2 crew. Chobham armor of the second generation shields the turret and hull, also known as Dorchester. The tank has only ever been destroyed while being used once, and that was in 2003 in Basra after a blue-on-blue -blue friendly fire event, when another Challenger 2 shot down the wrecked tank while its hatch was open. Since the Challenger 2 entered service, numerous enhancements have been made to increase its defense, mobility, and lethality, the most recent of them being the Life Extension Program, or LEP. With the goal of extending its service life to at least 2035, the British Army announced plans to upgrade 148 Challenger 2s under the LEP in March 2021. These modified variants will be called Challenger 3. Not all Challenger 2s will be improved, those that aren't will be retired. Armament The L11 cannon used on the Chieftain and Challenger 1 has been replaced with the 120mm 55 caliber L30A1 tank gun on the Challenger 2. The cannon is built of high-strength electro-slag remelting steel with a chromium alloy liner, and it's insulated by a thermal sleeve just like older British 120mm guns. It's equipped with a fume extractor and muzzle reference system, and it's operated by an all-electric stabilization and control system. A full 360-degree rotation of the turret takes 9 seconds. The L30A1 and its predecessor, the Royal Ordnance L11A5, are the only third-generation main battle tank guns that have a rifled barrel, making them unique among NATO main battle tank guns. This is because in contrast to armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding sabot rounds, the British Army continues to emphasize the use of high-explosive squash head rounds. In comparison to APFSDS, HESH rounds have a longer range and are more potent against structures and thin-skinned vehicles. The turret and hull each hold 49 main armament rounds, which, depending on the circumstance, can be a combination of L27A1 APFSDS, L31 HESH, and L34 white phosphorus smoke rounds. The propellant charges are loaded separately from the shell or KE projectile. Just like in prior iterations of the 120mm gun, a flammable rigid charge is used for APFSDS rounds and a combustible hemi-cylindrical back charge is used for HESH and smoke rounds. The main armament shots are fired by an electrically fired vent tube. Separating the ammunition components also helps reduce the possibility of unfired ammunition exploding early. In addition, the Challenger 2 is armed with a 7.62mm L37A2 machine gun positioned on a pintle on the loader's hatch ring and a 7.62mm L94A1 X34 chain gun located coaxially to the left of the main cannon. There are 4,207.62mm rounds on hand. A Leonardo Enforcer remote control weapon system with a 7.62mm L37A2 or GPMG machine gun a 12.7mm heavy machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher can also be mounted on the Challenger.
American M1 Abrams The US Army's only operational main combat tank is the M1 Abrams. The legendary M1 Abrams tank first saw service with the US Army in 1980. They have served in the Gulf War, the war in Afghanistan, the war in Iraq, the 2011 Egyptian Revolution, and more, demonstrating many times their dependability and efficacy. The factories are the Detroit Arsenal Tank Plant and the Lima Army Tank Plant. Chrysler Defense, currently known as General Dynamics Land Systems, is their designer. The business has produced more than 10,000 units in total. Some of the heaviest main combat tanks in the world are third-generation M1A2 Abrams. The M1, M1A1, and M1A2 are the three operating iterations of the Abrams series at this time. The future combat systems XM1202 was supposed to replace the US Army's tanks, but the project was shelved. The Army now intends to keep the existing Abrams and upgrade them in whatever way possible. The first M1A2 began to be produced in 1986, and the US Army began using them in 1992. The M1A2 can shoot two targets simultaneously and gives the tank commander a thermal sight. Depleted uranium of the second generation is used in the armor. Then the System Enhancement Package, or SEP, upgrade appeared, altering the M1A2's already enhanced capabilities. The M1A2 SAP continues to serve as the foundation of American armored troops. The US produced 240 brand new M1A2 SAPs, 300 M1A1 that were upgraded with the SAP version, and 400 M1A1s that were improved to the M1A2 SAP configuration. The improved depleted uranium component in the SAP version of the armor put it among the best in the world. By incorporating explosive reactive armor, the army can increase the level of protection. The 120mm N256 gun of the tank has a 2.5 mile maximum range. Both M1028 and M829A3 APFSDS rounds are fired by the weapon. The second option is a fantastic round for infantry targets at a distance of 0.12 to 0.3 miles. The tank is equipped with a ballistic computer and a contemporary effective fire control system. The two thermal sights make use of night vision capable FLIR technology from the second generation. A digital battlefield management system that can discriminate between friendly and hostile targets is also a part of the main battle tank. The system shows the whereabouts of neighboring friendly automobiles in real time. The commander, the gunner, the loaders, and the driver make up the crew of four. The vehicle's AGT-1500 gas turbine engines, which produce 1500 horsepower, deliver respectable performance. Strategic mobility is the ability of an armed forces tanks to arrive in a timely, economical, and coordinated manner. C-5 Galaxy or C-17 Globemaster III aircraft are capable of transporting the Abrams. Although there was ample time for 1,848 tanks to be carried by ship, the limited capacity resulted in major logistical issues when the tanks were first deployed for the first Persian Gulf War. Combat ships are used by Marines to transport the Abrams tanks that are part of the Marine Air Ground Task Force, or MAGTF. Each landing craft amphibiously transports one combat-ready tank to shore in a platoon of four to five tanks. Connected to the deployed Marine Expeditionary Unit via a WASP-class Landing Helicopter Dock, or LHD. The Oshkosh M1070 and M1000 heavy equipment transporter systems for the US military can transport the Abrams as well. The HETS can travel cross-country, on side roads, and on highways. The four tank crew members can stay there. The Australian Army transports its Abrams vehicles in specifically outfitted manned trucks. In October 1993, the Abrams was the first vehicle to be flown into a combat zone. After the Battle of Mogadishu, 18 M1 tanks were flown to Somalia from Hunter Army Airfield in Georgia by C-5 aircraft. The Challenger is tougher thus far. Only one of them has been destroyed in battle. And that one was destroyed by another Challenger in a regrettable blue-on-blue -blue event. The technical differences between them are so negligible in all other aspects that it's impossible to rank one as superior to the other. The M1 is presumably simpler to staff, but the Challenger is more fuel efficient. Let us know your thoughts on what's your favorite tank in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Military Rewind for more videos.